Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I am sharing JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop new release and then we are also going to do a plan with me with one of these sets. So I haven't showed JoJo's stuff in a little while um, but you guys know I am obsessed with her shop. So all of these stickers are all hand-drawn and JoJo's just the sweetest. I loved getting to spend some time with her at Go Wild, and I'm so grateful that she sent me her new release. I think she's had um, a couple months kind of getting some other things together, and I'm so excited to see her new designs because they're always stunning. She just sent me a small portion of this release. There are a lot of other items launching, including some notepads and some other really fun things, so definitely check out her site and let her know that Christopher sent you. So I want to just quickly show both of these sets that I was sent, and then we are going to choose which one I'm going to use in today's video. I literally haven't decided yet. So this little set is perfect for springtime and because my favorite color is purple. So we have these little, these are all hand drawn, like I said. So we have some teacups, some flowers, and then just like some perfect springtime elements. So let me just bring this closer so you can really get a sense of the beautiful details that Jojo includes. So we have this little house scene with the trees and the flowers, the bike, some different teacups, and oh, I love this page as well, with the books and the, and the rain boots. And then we also have this set, which has some beautiful boxes and kind of washi strips. I say boxes, but obviously they are circles. So love this set. Um, I, as you all know, purple is my favorite color, so... I am definitely excited about this. So on, upon first glance, I was like, this is the set that I'm using for this week's plan with me. However, look at how cute this set is. I mean, they're all cute, do not get me wrong, but I, this one may be the one we do. So this is all kind of based on Paris and beautiful pink florals, which you guys know pink is actually not one of my favorite colors, but in some aspects, like this, it's like classy, you know? I feel like this is kind of also good spring or summertime vibes. I mean, like, just let me bring this closer. Look at this detail. I think that's why I want to use this set. Like, that is so stunning. And, I mean, it all is. Like, this detail of the Eiffel Tower and some different you know, Paris streets and the houses. Like, I just think this is so cute. So this is the set I want to use. Because I could very, very easily say, oh, I'm going to hoard this until the next time I go to Paris. Christopher, when are you going to Paris? No, ma'am. That is not happening anytime soon. So we're just going to use them. Use the stickers. So this is the set I want to use today. I love making that up, but I do want to use these really soon because I think they're stunning and perfect for spring. All right, so we are doing a plan with me for the week of March 27th. We are going into April. I cannot even believe it. So um, I think what we're going to do is pair it with, I think, black boxes. I think that that would be pretty because there is some black in here. So we'll mainly go with like black, green, and pink is what I'm thinking. I would love to use her washi strips here, but I do want to pair it with something black. So let's find like a black, maybe a grid or a, let me see. I'm just going to kind of spread these out. I don't know if they'll be in shot, but I just kind of want to see what we're working with. So I'm just gonna spread these all around the page. Like we are a million percent using that sticker. I'm not allowed to finish this unless I use that sticker. Um, okay, so let's do a black grid. Just keep it very simple. It also will help, I think, with doing some of the scenes. I think that having a washi tape that it kind of stands on helps with that. Um, but I think I wanna start with this. I don't really know what we're doing. We're just kind of jumping in and going for it. 
So we'll start with this pink washi, at least on the bottom over here. And then I think I want to layer that. I'm going to save it just in case there's not enough to do what I want to do. I'm going to layer that with the black grid. I was going to put the pink on top, but I think I want the pink to frame the page, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm going with this way. Okay, and then at the very least, maybe let's let's try it all the way across the bottom. Although no, I don't think I like that because there's lots of seams I want to include. Um, so instead I'm gonna try this. Okay. In my head, this is gonna work. So let's see what happens. So I wanna do three. So let's do this one in the center here, I think. Uh, no. So we're gonna just have to combine some strips together here. Oh, I hope there's enough. Oh shoot, there may not be enough. Okay, just a slight change of plans for a moment just because I didn't have enough of that pink. I did want the pink to frame the page. So I'm gonna do it at the bottom over there and at the top over here. And that is gonna give us kind of that effect because at least it'll be on both sides of the page. So that is a good start there. Let me just start with that and we'll go from there. Um, cause I could use these beautiful pink florals as well to do something, but let's just start there. So I want to do a scene on this. So let's pull this sticker and just kind of see where we would want that. Thinking I may actually want it with whatever washi situation we do here. So in here, <laughs> I know I just said we're gonna move to the stickers, but I can't yet. I need to figure out the washi first. So let's do, that there. And I am gonna, I'm gonna try this rip block. Let's see if we like that. Because this, I think, is going to be the the um, spot that some of the scenes can sit on. And I don't mind that we are kind of ignoring the line for a second. Because you see how that's above the line? Because I may add some other washi or something to it. So I kind of like that that's over that line. Let's actually do that for this one as well just so that it matches. I'll just bring this a little bit down like that. And then that can be a perfect spot for things to sit, such as this sticker. And I think what I wanna do for this is cut a straight line across the bottom even though I don't want to cut off any of the sticker, but let me at least try it here. So I think I want that just to kind of look like it's peeking from that washi tape. That's stunning. Okay, so now I need a scene that kind of matches that, which I think is actually this one. I want this. down here in this corner, I actually think. We'll just trim off that excess. I just think that's a really pretty sticker, so. All right, other big elements. We do have this one. 
which would be perfect coming from the side of the page. I'm thinking of something different. So if this will come up, which I think it will, yes, tore a little bit, but I'll put a, a sticker over there. I think I want this up here. I just want to make sure it doesn't cover the Monday, the 27th. Okay, I think I like that better. Okay, I think I like that better because now if we wanted to do this little scene, I'm not gonna be able to use all these stickers because they're just too many. But now this one can live right down here. Yeah, I love that, that's just perfect. Um, as far as other big, big stickers, I could do this one up here. I do also wanna use this little box the same scene as this but it's still really pretty so uh, actually I'm gonna hold off on that so I love this so I definitely want to bring this in somewhere I wonder how it would look just kind of layered on top of this let me try that as if this is in the forefront and all of that is kind of in the background Yeah, I think that's pretty. This is also a really pretty sticker. It just, the detail on JoJo's stickers just amazes me. So part of me actually, ooh, that's kind of cool. No, that's a little too much. But I do think I like it down here. Let's even do it here, like coming off the page a little bit. And then I just want one more larger sticker up here. So I actually want to do this one. Just kind of floating off into the distance up here. All right, so we have kind of our basis of the spread now. And now we can bring in some boxes and some other little elements, like these florals. Um, oh, I could, if I really want to kind of go in on this, this scene, we could do one there. And let me see if this one would fit. I think I like that there, actually, because it does kind of bring in that color. All right, that is pretty. I am digging it. All right, so I want to look at boxes. I think I do want to do Mojo Jojo black boxes. I think that that just makes sense. Um, so we don't bring in too many other colors. But let's just see if it's too harsh. So, for example... I think I'd want to do this one, just kind of there. No, I don't think it's too harsh. I think it's it matches. Um, now, if this will come up, I want it up a little bit higher. Just want it to layer a little bit more with that washi tape. All right, let's do. Let's try another one of this size, actually, over here. Okay. 
Okay. I need a square, but this book may be out of squares. I may need to go to another book because I have like three or four of these. So let me pull this one because this is my favorite size. And I think we'll do this one up here for Thursday. And then back to this size, or a smaller size, excuse me. I think we'll layer this one. Let's do up here for Wednesday. Now, in my head, as I was putting those down, I kind of was thinking I want to bring in another color box, too. Just, for whatever reason, feel like it works. Um, Mojo Jojo, I also have an affiliate for her. She, uh, and I have a coupon code for you that will save 10% uh, off of your tickets. No, oh my gosh, tickets. <laughs> I can't. Can you tell that I work with tickets from my real job? Uh, okay, spring boxes, that's what I'm looking for. I think we could find a pink or a green that matches this pretty nicely, hopefully in here. Mm, these are a little too pale. That's a little too bright. Well, this one could work. Let me try this. Mm, no. She has a ton, a ton of options, though. So let me keep looking. I'm not exaggerating. I just spent way, way, way too long looking for the perfect pink or the perfect maroon, and I literally give up. So we are moving forward with the original plan, which was literally just to use the black boxes. So I just wanna add a few more here. Um, yeah, we'll add that there. I don't think I wanna add one to all of them. Like I could leave it at that. Let's see, maybe I want one more. Or maybe I do want one added to all of them. Because uh, we could do that. Nope, that's weird. Kind of like that. I think I want to move this one up. that and then let's do one of this size here I don't like that that goes up like a ladder there so I'm gonna try and move this oh, to be up top and I'm gonna have to Double side tape this down because I peeled up the sticky. All right. So that's good. It would have been, I think, a little more elegant if I kept looking for those boxes, but I was like, I cannot do this anymore. Um, I would love bullet points. <laughs> now we have to find the right bullet points. Oh, we're not doing that. Uh, I'm going to see if there's some little stickers that we can add, like, because these, these are the highlight of the spread. It's when I tried to move to other elements and boxes and things, like, that's when it all went wrong. <laughs> Let's just stick to JoJo's beautiful stickers. Um, I really want to include this. Oh, we could do it right here. That's perfect. Ruined this box. We're doing really good. Um, I wanna do, I do like this bike. I just don't know where it could go. I could do it here. Let's use it. Why not? 
The only other things would be like little florals. Like if I wanted to cover up that mess up, I could put just a little pink floral. I'm thinking down here in this corner. I may want a floral or even two. Kind of make a little corner. Let's see how that looks. I may need to do that on the other side now, but. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Let me see if I can pull some of those scraps and we'll do a little something. Although no, this needs to move down. I don't want it to touch that, the washi tape. And then let's do, yeah, this is really pretty. Um, let's do another floral corner up here, but I actually am gonna want it. to kind of go around, if possible, the number two there. So I may even just be able to use these scraps and just kind of place them a little bit like that. Oh, no, I don't like that one. Let's pull one more. And this one, I'm actually, I'm just going to accept that it's going to go over the washi tape. I think that's fine. <laughs> so many scraps. But now that kind of matches that, which is pretty. And yeah, I think that's actually really pretty. Let me find, I, you know what I would love to do is actually a maroon for these bullet points. And I'm going to try and pull, let me see. I have a couple that may work, so let me test, test some out here. All right, I'm going to try this one. It's kind of an in-between color, but I think, worst case scenario, we white it out. No, see on here, it looks like it'll be more maroon, but it actually ends up being pink. But I think I am going to go with it. Because I have all these dot markers. It's like it's time to start using them. I have so many markers too that I got from Go Wild. And it's time to actually use them in spreads, you know? But I think that's all I'm going to do here. This is not it for me. Having one little floral alone with it. So that is, that's a no-go. Um, so I think what I'm going to try to do to fix that is just color this in black. And now it's like nothing happened at all. But that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think about JoJo's new release and the spread. Um, she really does have beautiful stuff. So I hope that you guys check out her shop and let me know what you pick up. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.